Hello all and welcome to Sojeti's uh, 2017 DevOps Hackathon. In our discussion today, we will see how to configure AWS code pipeline to call an existing CA blaze meter test. I myself, I am Namrata Shah and I'm the national solutions architect for DevOps over here with Sojeti USA. I'm a senior manager and I've been with the company for about nine plus years. I have a total experience of about 15 plus years in the industry and have been an MVP in csharp.net and a VTS for Vista. My email and my LinkedIn profile are as shown on the screen. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we can, you know, call one of these existing uh, blaze meter tests from our code pipeline. So here I have a demo uh, sample code pipeline that I had created in one of the other previous demos. And what we are going to do is we are going to uh, call a blaze meter test uh, from this particular code pipeline. Now for this particular demo, let me uh, switch to blaze meter now. I have created this particular test suite called as DevOps demo test over here. And we will be calling this particular test from our pipeline. So let's see how we can get that done. So I'm going to put uh, our pipeline in an edit mode now. And let me scroll down. Let's say over here, right before the pre-approval. And once our some you there's some basic UI testing that we are doing over here, I'm going to add an additional action over here. And the action would be to perform some place meter load testing. So let's uh, select an action category. The action category in this case is going to be test. And the action name is going to be place meter testing. The test provider in this case would be place meter. Now you will see that uh, the moment you select your test provider as place meter, uh, uh, AWS gives you an option to connect to the place meter site. So let's uh, click on connect over here. Now, as you see, um, I see this page where which shows all the various place meter tests that are available for my particular user. Now, I have been using uh, basically this this machine uh, for other demos as well. Hence, it kind of you know went as a single sign on inside because my my user credentials are stored on this machine. But if that's not the case with you, then it will prompt you for your username and password. And then eventually it will show you this particular page which will actually list uh, all the tests that are available for you to connect and call from your pipeline. So in this case, we will be selecting DevOps demo test, which is the first test over here. And to connect it uh, and call it from our code pipeline, we have to click on this connect button. So let me do that. As you see, uh, the test ID is reflected over here. And finally, to complete this configuration, we will select an input artifact, which is nothing else, but uh, in this case, my app build, because this, uh, if for this particular pipeline, uh, that was the input artifact after the code has been built, the name of the application. And then finally, click on Add Action. And there you see, now Blaze Meter is integrated uh, and it is part of our code pipeline. To save these changes, we will go over here and click Save Pipeline Changes, Save and Continue. And finally, if I scroll down, you will see that Blaze Meter is now a part of this pipeline. And every time um, this pipeline executes, um, this particular uh, test suite will be called and executed as well. So hope, hopefully this was uh, helpful and uh, see you later in some other demo. Thank you and have a nice day.